Get your little birds to school right now. Lilith, get to school. They've been out all night long. Oh my god. Guys, it is day six of orange and peach instead of just straight peach. I am struggling. Let's just put it that way. So, welcome back to an episode of The Sims 4 Broken Dream. We are heading to Oasis. Oh, what did I just even do there? We are heading to Oasis Springs today. Why does it have a dinosaur there? Am I missing something? Is there like a big dinosaur somewhere that I just can't see? I don't actually know. So one thing that never got uh, fixed when Cats and Dogs came out and broke loads of mods was the prom mod. So I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and just not do that. That's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> okay, do you remember this by the way? Do you remember the prom mod that Kira and Charlie Rose went to? That was a fun episode. That was where Charlie Rose and Jamie Street first got together. But I am gonna go ahead and bulldoze this because it doesn't actually work. That mod doesn't currently work. It may work again one day, but right now it does not. And the other thing I was thinking is, if you guys watched the last episode of Dreamhouse, um, the, the older Calorie Aching family members, so that's James, Jesse, Emily and Emma, read Claire and Ali's will. Claire and Ali's will said that the person that got the dream house would have to be decided by the family, by the children themselves. So that discussion is still going on. Everyone's kind of figuring out what they want. Emily, uh, sorry, Emma, I need to stop doing that. Emma and Max currently live in Oasis Springs. They're the only family that actually live in Oasis Springs. And their house at the moment, it's big. It's a nice house. However, I'm kind of getting the vibe that for two teenagers with two huge personalities, that is little Abel, who's currently at the dream house, and Lilith. And kind of get the vibe that they need something a little bit bigger. And you guys weren't keen on me moving Emma back into the dream house. So I was kind of thinking we probably need to build our own house itself. I think we will add and tweak the house to ourselves. But I kind of wanted to have a look at some community houses. I'm not even online. Good start, Claire. Okay, so I've been trying for ages to <laughs> connect to the internet to get a house from the gallery. But the gallery is down, I think. I can't connect to the internet on sims but my internet works so that plan of building a house on here is gonna have to wait for a little while but i want to get one from the gallery and then kind of add to it because the suburbs house took me so so long to build that i'd quite like a basis and i'd also kind of like like a basis that's like the kooky sort of um cats and dog style houses i'm kind of thinking oh you know what there is these big huge villas but people are living in them all how dare they how dare they live there when they know I want to move to a cool house? How cheeky. So for now, we are in this house, but I definitely plan to build something very cool for these guys. I just, like, I need to know what kind of house I'm thinking in my head. With Salma and James, it was easy because I was like, I want a super modern house. Whereas with these guys, it's a little bit trickier. I'm kind of almost thinking like a castle-y sort of thing. I don't know. Not a huge castle. Like a small palace. But for now, we are back here with this little one and Vixie. And why is there a bush growing right there? What is going on with that? I hate that. I don't want that in front of my house. Not even a tiny bit. Oh, and now I've taken the post of the house. Okay, can everybody please get butts home, butts to bed right this second? Because it's 1am in the morning. Max, not the time to be going on that PC, friendo. Let's get into bed. And Abel, Abel who is very angry. <gasps> oh my gosh, everything is wrong with Vixie. She's vomiting. She's, oh, she's vomiting again. She's got fleas coming off her. That's a job for tomorrow, though. And I don't know what Abel's just come home for the green from the dream house with a potato. So there you go. But for now, can I please get everybody to bed? He's also really angry just because he's on the home lot. He's a tough cookie. I'm kind of wondering. We've given him two really, really hard traits to kind of control. PTSD and Frenzied Rebel. I am thinking of taking away the Frenzied Rebel and replacing it with something else. Because I just think they're both sort of... They're, they're too much together. They are a little bit too much together and they're making him a little bit too hard. Also, you guys were saying that because Abel is now a teenager, I should age up Lilith. 
But I think one of the regrets I have sometimes on this series is aging up teenagers a little bit too quickly. I quite like them to stay teens for a while. And I feel like Lilith hasn't really touched all parts of being a teenager yet. She's still got so much to do. So I'm not prepared to age her up yet. And I think across the board, I'm going to keep teenagers as teenagers for a little bit longer and do a little bit more with them. Because like Charlie Rose um, and Kira got to do a lot more and got to go to prom and everything and have like dates and stuff and Lilith's just not really done too much yet so I'm kind of wanting to keep her as a teenager for a little bit longer yet you guys I knew I could hear music as well let's turn that off so Emma is up first um is there leftovers in the fridge because if not you are going to be on breakfast duty there is nothing in the fridge so why don't you serve everybody serve everybody some pancakes put them in a good mood and before this little, little terror wakes up, I am just going to go ahead. Uh, oh, I can't edit him in cast. It's fine, though, because I can edit her in cast. I am going to go ahead and just remove that frenzied rebel. You guys might think I'm cheating by doing that, but it's too much. He's angry all the time. And if he didn't have the PTSD side of it, it wouldn't be too much of an issue. Hello. Hello, evil. Uh, but I think with PTSD and frenzied rebel... It's just a little bit too much, you guys. I want to give him something because right now it's a really miserable life for him. I think it is anyway. So I think I'm going to give him emotional conduit. It's still not like like amazing perfect. It's more like because of his PTSD and he's dealing with all these feelings and stuff, he ends up just copying the emotions of those around him to try and level out his mood. And I think that's a quite a good way to do it. The other thing I was thinking, look at her in a little JJ's, is one of you guys sent me a really nice hair that we could try out on this one. Uh, it's actually hair that I used to use in Skyrim all the time. I mean, it looks too similar to just be coincidence. I think it's the same hair. It is this one here with the little plait in it. Have you noticed that Lilith has um, a hairline on her skin details? I need to take that off. Where's your hairline, Lilith? I know it's on you. There it is. I'm going to take that off because it's messing with all your hairstyles. Or maybe I just need to make it blonde. Oh gosh, it looks kind of weird like that. Take it off for now. <laughs> and then I love this hair. But have they got one that's like Lilith's style? Because she is like blonde, but with pink um, roots, isn't she? I don't think that... Th the thing is, I've got two of them. So I've got these ones too. It would mean removing her pink. But I do really like that hair. I think it looks so cool on her. It's quite Emily, I guess. The alternative, of course, is she could go fully pink. Like this. Or like, actually, like that one. I quite like that. I'm kind of digging that hair, you guys. I think that suits her quite a lot. So just for consistency, I am going to give her that hair for both outfits for a little while. Mm. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below, but I think it's really nice. I also, just because I love dressing Lilith up like a little doll, <laughs> I'm going to give her a third outfit because I did download some new stuff. This is quite a boobalicious outfit. I feel like I need to put an inner top in with this. Because it's, it's a little bit much, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit much. I've also got this coat, which I think is really cool. And actually is very Lily Bear as well. Everything's Lily Bear. That is the joy of Lily Bear. Everything looks great on her. I got um, a dress with little uh, roses on it too. Let me see if I can find that. Here it is. Oh, it's like a jumper dress. <gasps> Love that. Where's the one with roses? There it is. Okay, I want the roses, but with the black. Oh, how cool is that? I would wear that in a heartbeat. And I love how Lily Bear it is as well. So there we go. Another amazing dress for Lilith. She's so like, do you think she's really like witchy? I like that about her. She's like properly witchy. I'm also going to put this new uh, eyeshadow I found on her. Ooh. It's the S Club eyeshadow if you guys like it. Oh, this one's really pretty though. No, I like this one because it's darker and it's more dramatic like Lilith. Oh, she's so pretty and amazing, you guys. I just love her. Okay, so a third outfit for Lilith looking very sassy. And then one of you guys sent me Emma's jumper. Um, you actually saw it in the wild, which I thought was so cool. These are Emma's outfits. But I'm kind of not feeling her hair again. I've fallen back out of love with her hair. I never find a hairstyle for her that I actually like. All of the hair just bugs me on her. It just does not look right. Don't want to give her really short hair though. Mm, she, I think she, she's got quite a boyish face anyway. So when you go too short on the hair, kind of brings up a whole set of issues, you know? See, I like long hair on her, but you guys like short hair on her. She's too pale to pull that hair off. That looks quite nice on her. But you guys don't want me giving her long hair, so I don't know what to do. I wish there was a short version of that. That would look so cool. Oh my gosh, Claire's hair. Oh my gosh, she looks like me. I never realized it before. She looks so much like me. 
Not me in person, but Sinclair. Oh my gosh, no, that's too weird. I can't do that. I kind of like that look on her. <laughs> I think that's quite cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this hair with when she wants to wear her hair down. It's like that. So look, up and down. I'm gonna do this for a little while until I can decide what to do with her because she is... She is a conundrum, you guys. She really is. She doesn't know what she wants and I don't know what she wants. But I'm liking that look a lot more. I think so. I think so. Although I like her hair like that. She's got a weird face. She's got a tough cookie face. She kind of suits black hair. <laughs> Tie it up like that when she goes to a party and then up in the pool as well. It's back to teen Emma in a big way. But <sighs> that looks way too young for her, isn't it? I'm gonna change her out of this. I might just get rid of that altogether. Okay, a bit more of a mum look for her. There we go. And the other thing I wanted to show you guys quickly. I don't know if it works with any of Lilith's looks. Ah, I don't know if it will. Maybe this one. But I downloaded the shoes that I wear all the time in real life, which is little Vans. I don't think they go with anything though. Maybe with that. Because I wear them with tights and stuff. I love my Vans. And then Abel, I did download him. Even though I don't get these shoes. They're Yeezys. Like, I don't get them. I think Yeezys are so... I don't get why they're a big thing. I don't get why everyone goes mad for them. But Yeezys. There you go, guys. He's got Yeezys. And then because Lilith's got two looks, I'm going to give him two looks as well. God, he's so handsome. I just want to eat him up. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Take off his little bracelet thing. Although... I'm gonna put him in Vans, because <laughs> I don't like that look with Yeezys. That's more of a Vans look, for sure. Oh my god, they look so big on him! That's so funny! But there, I think that's quite a cool look. Oh hoo -hoo. I'm gonna change out your earrings, hoo -hoo. I don't know why I don't have any single earrings. I like earrings on guys. I really like earrings on guys. I like two earrings on guys, though. I'm not complaining, you can do as you please. There we go. So that's his second day look. So he's got two day looks. They're both quite different to each other, but I like this look. I like like big baggy jumpers on guys. Tick, tick, enjoy, like. Claire, stop perfing over the teen sim. Literally just a teenager, only just a teenager. What's wrong with me? Okay, so we've got an Emma that is more, if you watched OG Dreamhouse, you probably recognize this Emma. Cause this is the hair she had as a teenager. She's grown her hair back out again, you guys. Also, she's dilly dallying a lot with this cause she's thinking about Ali. Can you just make the breakfast, okay? And then this one's still got a proper teenager little room, hasn't he? But I want to move the house, so I don't really want to spend loads of time messing with his room when I'm going to be changing it. Okay, it's tense, is on edge, Miss PTSD. Your sim feels like there's something wrong, but they just don't know what. <gasps> the poor thing! It what makes me want to shout forbidden words. Oh my gosh, Lilith, are you awake? Oh, she's going downstairs to grab a serving. I was going to get her to come up and, like, uh, make him feel better. Wait, where are you grabbing a serving from? Where are you even going? Where's she- where's she off? That- what? <laughs> That's a really roundabout way to get to that room. Do we not have a door to- Is that- is that a design flaw? There's no way to get out onto the back garden. What on earth? That is kind of hilarious. I need to buy a door. There. Now you can get out. Although that is like annoyingly off, isn't it? What about if I move? Move. Move. Oh no, what's in the way? Oh, it's like- it's just a cat feeder. A Vixie feeder. She's not a cat, you guys. <laughs> she is a fox. There, because now it lines up with this, which is a lot better. And I should get them a nice plant. Oh, what are you facing? There you go. I can't believe this whole time they've been walking all the way around the side. And he didn't get his potatoes from Dreamhouse, you guys. He got his potatoes from outside here. Why does the food look like such trash in this game? It actually stresses me out. So there's Lily Bear with her new very cool hair. Oh my god, she does not look like she wants to go to school. What is wrong with you? Why are you in such a bad mood? Because you need to wee. Why didn't you go wee before you had your food? Oh my god, she could trick him into believing we're all in a simulation. And you know what? It would actually work on him, of all people. Because he's the one struggling mentally the most of any sim we've ever had. She's pretending to him we're in a simulation. Well, I mean, she might not be pretending. We fully well could be. And he's like, I don't know whether to believe you or not. We have the same eyes, so maybe you're telling me the truth. I don't know. I don't know, Lilith. Is he now going to be all paranoid about it? No, he's confident from being near the emotions of other sims. For whatever reason, that's made him feel a little bit better about life. Lily Bear, why don't you try and go for a wee before school since you're desperate? I don't know why you're torturing yourself. This one's desperate for a wee as well, okay? Both of you go for a wee. 
Govin's spirit is passing away. Who is Govin? Who is Govin? I'm looking and no one knows who Govin is. No one knows who Govin is. Oh, okay. So apparently Emma works with him. Oh my gosh, it's one of her co-workers. One of her co-workers has died. Poor Emma's just losing everybody. She needs to head to work, which means Max, you're gonna have to take Vixie to the vets today. Everybody head off to work, please. Works in schools. Lilith, try and make some friends at school, okay? Stop being mean to everybody. Don't pretend everybody's in a simulation or anything like that, okay? And then Max, you're gonna have to bring Vixie to the vets because when we got back, she was puking up all little gut salt and stuff outside. Why don't you fill the bowl for her too? Although, now I'm feeding her, she seems a little bit better. Maybe she's okay? Why don't we go on a nice little walk together? Penny's spirit is fading away as well. Why don't you guys go for a jog together? I bet Penny is somebody else that Emily works with. Yeah. Well, she knows her. Apparently, everyone that Emily Emma knows is dying. There's a big unit... A big unit test is coming up in history class. Abel's been doing okay, but a good score would really boost his overall grade. Should he do the usual mark studying or study as much as he can? Abel, try, okay? Study a lot. Let's see, did he actually do well? He did, he focuses and it pays off big time. He scores higher on the test than anybody in the class. The teacher congratulates him on a job well done. And oh my gosh, we're still getting child support? Why are we still getting child support? Is it because they're not married yet? Lilith's meeting people at school, which is great. However, she's not met the man I kind of want her to meet at school, has she? She's not let, met little Ryland. I'm kind of worried she never will at this point. She's also met Honda, who can I, I can only assume is dead. She's white. <laughs> she's literally white. Lilith has met Thomas. Thomas is, uh, look at him running by. Thomas is Zach's boyfriend. There you go. Wolfgang, Wolfgang Munch. I think that was one of Max's friends when he was a kid. He's chit-chatting away with Dia now. <gasps> Dia who must have had a baby, you guys, cause she's not pregnant anymore. <gasps> God, I love this. I love just people watching and watching the neighbors go by. Connor's gone by, clearly bunking off from school because he's not in school. Max is back with little Vixie from his jog. I think Vixie may need a bath as well, Max. So if you don't mind getting on that too, that would be great. Oh, Lilith has been doing poorly in school and now it is a high school C student. Grades are down and Abel's not doing well in school either. The two of them don't really care about school. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's not really in the end, their interest to care about school. I don't know why, but they're just not that bothered. I've got to say though, they've got a lot of time for each other. Like they're always hanging out and chit-chatting with each other. To say that they are half brother and sister, I think their relationship is probably better than most of our full-blooded brother and sister. Not that it can't, not that it shouldn't be or it can't be. I just think it's almost interested and nice. <gasps> Do you see her doing the thing then? Um, the, They kind of almost have the best relationship. I love them. I like that she's supporting him through his his issues, but also she's doing it whilst also being a bit mischievous with him because, you know, she's still Lilith. Oh my gosh, look at this. Vixie runs outside to greet Emma. How cute is that? Give her some <laughs> loves, Emma. She's been a complete little bean. Look, she was meant to be Lilith's fox, but somehow she's ended up closer to this one. Oh, Jessie's calling to chat with Emma. That's awful cute. Max has made everybody some nice dinner limbs. This one's come in in a little vans with her new hair. Oh, she's setting the table. Oh, bless her. Well done, Lilith. Well done. Why are you... Oh, she's embarrassed because of her poor performance. She's currently angry as well because of her hot-headed trait. Jessica spread some juicy gossip about Charlie Rose. I bet she's rang to talk to her about Charlie going out with Jay. I bet you anything that's what it is. Because they both saw them, so they're probably catching up and chit-chatting. Emma, I don't know why you're sitting on your own. That's sort of weird. Okay, so these guys are chit-chatting away at dinner. They should be about to go and do their homework, but Lilith's fun's kind of low. Abel's probably just willing to go out, go along with whatever Lilith suggests, because she's his big sister. So I'm kind of thinking they should go and go away from home tonight and have a little explore for themselves. So Lilith's arranged for a group of people that she knows from her school to go and hang out somewhere. I kind of want them to hang out in this neighborhood. And this is meant to be a teen hangout, but as you guys know, the last time we tried this wasn't really a teen hangout. But still, it's the bar in their neighborhood. It's the bar where the IDs are a little bit lax. So it's where the teenagers go and hang out. And if anyone would know where the IDs were lax, it would be Lilith. 
Because she is a cheeky one. So we've got everybody here, and I'm kind of interested to see how some of these new sims look. So that is Zach's boyfriend. He's got that kind of cute sort of uh, nerdy but cool look going on. And then I want to see this really pale girl. She looks like a vampire or something. She's kind of creeping me out. Oh my god, what the hell? There's actually a ghost hanging out here. Penny Pizzazz is dead! What? When did that happen? That was James and Silver's neighbor. She was a bit of a nightmare. Oh my gosh, everyone's dying. <laughs> and this is our new dead looking teen. Who's the closest we're gonna get to a vampire before I actually add vampires to the game, which I don't know if I'm gonna do or not. Oh my gosh, what is with all the ghosts? And you guys also made a really good point that Fatima is now a young adult. So Fatima must have always been a couple of years older than Lilith. Trust Lilith to make older friends. And she has come along as well, just so that these guys can hang out together. Because the difference in teenagers and young adults, you could be like a 19 year old and she could be like 21. There's not loads between them. And look at Abel kind of hanging out by the door and not really getting that involved. He is now. Go get involved, Abel, okay? He's dancing away. Why don't you go say hey to Connor? I'm a bit annoyed by how many ghosts have come tonight. I don't know if it's ghost night at the bar because I think it must be. There's that many ghosts here. That one looks really old. There's so many ghosts here that it kind of must be. It must be ghost night at the bar. Oh my gosh, this looks like a, like, a ghost from Downton Abbey. Wow. So this place is kind of dead out. And by dead out, I literally mean it's dead out. Let's forget this place, okay? There's a lounge up the street. Maybe they should head there instead. Okay, so it's just these three guys now. And the lounge is so dead as well. What is even going on? This is the place that plays the old school Sims music. Listen. I remember the Sims music. And we've also got this guy trying to play the guitar too, which is kind of annoying. These guys are getting the fire drinks, which cost like $200 per drink. And down in those. But these kind of three are all hanging out. It's probably more these two. She seems a little bit like, uh, you seem a bit young. But then she kind of seems engaged. But it's almost like a bit of a nice, a nice way for Abel to try and try and chit chat with them. But I think judging by their expressions, he's showing his age a little bit. He's showing that he's a little bit younger than them. But it's still nice for Lilith to know that he's sort of struggling a lot at the moment. And she's taking him out and she's trying to make him feel better, you guys. And poor Max. Max has work in an hour. Oh, bless him. I think little Abel is actually quite into Fatima. The problem is, Fatima is one of Lilith's friends. And Fatima is very similar to Lilith. And Lilith likes to mess with people quite a lot. So I think as much as Abel tries to act like tough and, and cool, he is a sweet, like, damaged little child that he's looking after. And instead, he's about to get probably a little bit flirty with one sim who could rip him apart. Oh, guys, he's very sad as well. Broken down, the tears are flowing, but I can't stop them. He just got really sad for no reason at all. But now he's gonna chat with her and she's made him feel better. She said she will hang out with him for a little bit. Be careful, little Abel! Although she's really angry. She started yelling at him. <gasps> now they're having a sleepover, you guys. But she's still really angry. She's, she's kind of scary when she's angry, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. She's a little bit scary when she's angry. I'm loving this retro music so much. Oh, she, he looks like so young and like... Like, nervous around it, you guys. I feel sorry for him. Oh, she's kind of... I feel like she's actually negging him. I feel like she's literally negging him. Oh my gosh, this entertaining me is actually bugging me so much. I'm just gonna go ahead, delete this, delete this. Let me get your guitar. You can't be allowed the guitar. Let me delete it. Ha, now I can delete it. Who are you gonna entertain now? You can't entertain anyone. Oh, now surely she's got really flirty with him. After being so off with him before. Oh, Abel! Fatima's mean like Lilith. Be careful. Look, flirting, and the next thing you know, she's giving him sass. I don't know where she is with him. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's the daytime. They've partied all night long. On a Thursday night, they've actually got school in a few hours' time, and they never came home. They never went home. Oh my gosh, guys, he went in for it. He went in and made a move. Oh, little Abel, little Abel. 
She's a lot young. She's a lot older than you. She is a lot older than you. He has just had another bout of sadness, though. He just gets them every now and again. And they just drag him down. I don't know what Lilith's been doing this whole time. But she does not seem too bothered about the fact that her little brother... Well, her best friend is full on just playing with her little brother. Why don't you care, Lilith? You should be punching Farmer right now. Oh, he's only gonna get hurt, you guys. Poor little thing. Oh, he kissed her on the head. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fair play, April. <laughs> He's like first big night out. Literally this morning he woke up so depressed about life. And Lilith's definitely done a good job of making him feel good about life again. But you do realize you've got school in like a half an hour or yeah, literally 45 minutes. You've got school and you've not been home to sleep all night long. He's feeling so like happy about the fact that he's had his first kiss and stuff though. Oh look, now she's saying she doesn't like him all of a sudden. And now Lilith's getting back involved. Maybe she's finally noticed, she's finally stopped talking to the old guy who was entertaining us all and realized that something is really wrong in front of her. Meanwhile, apparently these guys are miserable as hell at home. Okay, you guys get your little butts to school right now. Lilith, get to school. They've been out all night long. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Look at these two. Jeez. Oh, he is so smitten, you guys. His his thing says toxic. Have you noticed that? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> and they've both headed off to school. That's a bit of a crazy night, you guys. That's a bit of a crazy night for two teenagers. Oh my gosh, I love these adoption notices. Like, this little kid has been adopted. Uh, this little kid has been adopted by the- ado Are they both been adopted by the same household? No, two different households. How cool is that that you, like, find out everybody that got adopted by everybody? This little bean is on ho a home all alone, but she needs to keep writing her books. So I'm gonna get her to go into the study and just continue. Oh, <gasps> we've got to pay bills of £10,000. I don't know why they're that much, but they are. And she's still she's still writing Max and Me, The Reunion. So I'm going to get to head back to writing a little bit more of that. These guys will be heading home from school very soon. She is a C student. He is a C student. They're not caring too much about school. But Abel is still so happy because he's had his first kiss. And passionate kiss and all kinds of cuteness went on there. And I think the first thing he would want to do is invite round Fatima. Invite her to come and hang out with you, okay? <gasps> Fatima is coming round to come and hang out with Abel. I don't really know what Lilith would be making of all of this. It's sort of weird. And the fact that they've got through school today is nothing short of a miracle, to be honest. Oh, Lilith's got an eating her lunch in there. Oh my god, look, dear. <laughs> Keep seeing like, you're pregnant again? Uh, she's got an eating her dinner in here so she can chit chat with her mum a little bit. I've got an idea, Lilith. Why don't you do your homework, okay? Go into the inventory, get the homework, and do it for once. Abel, you should be doing your homework. Oh my gosh. You should be doing your homework as well. Look at him with her. Why don't you guys take a little picture together? He think oh, they're teen sweethearts. Sophia's like, I heard you became friends with Fatima. She's pretty cool. Unfortunately for me, I became friends with Connor. And it's not worked out so well for me, Abel. <gasps> he can kiss her neck. Open. Open. Deep conversation. He wants to use a bold pickup line on her. You could definitely do that. I like how he's doing all this outside because he knows really he shouldn't be doing it inside. I'm going to ask her if she's single. And then if she is, the, she's gonna, he's going to ask her to be his girlfriend, you guys. If I was Lilith, I'd be really mad around about now. Okay, he's asking if she's single. I'm seeing someone. Sof Sophia, go away. She's seeing someone. Are you joking? What? She's seeing someone, you guys. If she's seeing someone, why is she kissing him? What the hell? Lilith, can you get some more information out of her, please? Forget the homework, okay? That must be a little bit of a shock for him. Oh, bless him. He's doing a bit of cleaning up. He just went to go and ask her if, if she could be his girlfriend. And she's like, I'm seeing someone. Are they saying seeing as in like, it's not super serious? I don't understand. Oh, I'm going to do loads of getting to know. Because if you do get to know, then sometimes they tell you who they're in a relationship with. Oh, Lilith and Fatima became best friends. Not the best time to become best friends, but okay. He wants to like 
profess his undying love to her. Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jamie wants to grab dinner with her at Shez Lama. Jamie, no. Jamie, no. You are as bad an influence as Fatima is, okay? <gasps> as soon as Abel came upstairs, she went downstairs, you guys. You're not getting away with it that easy. Let's see if she, if Lilith asks her if she's single, she can get a little bit more info out of her. Because they are like best friends. Surely she would tell her who it is. I'm seeing someone. Who? Who are you seeing? Why won't you tell us who you're seeing? Tell us. Well, she's gone and told Lilith that she's seen someone. So she definitely is. He is really angry, you guys. He's like literally had his heart broken super soon. Gonna get him to change into his new cool outfit so she can see exactly what she's missing. Don't be being playful with her. She's mean to you. Yell at her. She led you on, little label. You got led on so much. He's super upset about it all, guys. He's giving her the cold shoulder now. Oh, bless him. But the thing is, I think she has a way at him. Lilith, stop coming along and chit chat with your best friend, okay? Oh, guys, the thing is, I think he's still so into her. Look at him looking at her. Abel, no. Meanwhile, Emma's playing with a toy in the background. What the hell? She's just walking around her house like she owns the place. Like she didn't just break the heart of a... Oh my God, look at them both again. But she's seeing some Abel. What are you even doing? What literally are you even doing right now? Oh, so this poor little one is, is heading to bed. He's learned the hard way today that girls can be mean. Girls can be very mean, Abel. I don't think he's given up on her yet, but girls are mean. <laughs> this one is napping with her dad in the room with her, doing a little bit of pc in, which is kind of weird. Definitely kind of weird. And everybody else has kind of gone to bed. I think, Max, maybe you need to go to bed as well. But now that everyone's asleep, this one has woken up. And I think she's, she's gone and got a text message. I think she's been thinking about Jamie Street ever since he asked her out on a date. I think she's very tempted to go and see him, you guys. I do think she's tempted to go and see him. So she's come into the city to come and say hello to him. Maybe she was a bit sick of um, Abel getting all the, uh, all the attention. All the attention from the older people. And she kind of remembered that she's got her own little... Little flirtation on the side if she ever wants to call him up. He's never going to be boyfriend material, but... Oh my gosh, straight away they're in flirting with each other. The thing is, I feel like he could break her heart just as easily as Fatima could break Abel's. Whereas Abel's going in blind. I don't think she's under any illusions as to just what exactly Jamie is like. Because of the whole Charlie Rose thing. And I kind of like, I think she probably likes the idea that Jamie's like her little secret. Oh god, so they're in the karaoke club, which sounds pretty awful. With like their wine and stuff together. Having a little chit chat on the sofa. Now, I don't know who this guy is that's come and sat at the end, but he's looking awfully pale, isn't he? Awfully pale. There's a lot of pale Sims going around at the moment. It's also painfully obvious, isn't it? Which Sims I've dressed and made compared to all the townies. And oh my gosh. It did not take these too long. It's all Lily Bear as well. He's like, no. Like, I think he fully, he fully knows that she's like, she's messing with him as much as he's messing with her. I don't think he likes it. I don't think he likes the fact that there is a Sim out there that's got one up on him. And it is our master manipulator. Super cute, super cheeky little Lilith. Do you see him with the guns? She like put them back away again. I've never seen Jamie reject advances ever. I think he knows exactly what she's like, you guys. I also get, move out the way, lady. I also get the feeling he knows that she's only called him up because she wants a little bit of attention. That is literally the only reason, and I think he's as aware as she is. It's a bit of a dysfunctional relationship, this one. Neither of them are particularly nice to each other. They're just kind of flirty with each other. They just want to be told that they're pretty. That's it. Oh, gosh. Where are you guys going now? <gasps> I'm kind of scared that he's actually not going to go through with it. Okay. That was actually her first kiss. Jeez. I would have thought Lilith would have definitely had her first kiss before then, but that is her first kiss. Oh, Lilith. When your first kiss is with Jamie Street, even she is like, what did I just do? What have I just done? Was that a good idea? No, Lilith, I think you'll find the answer is no. It was not. It was a very silly idea, okay? That's right, go in that room and think about what you've done. Shut the door on me because she's embarrassed about what she's just done. And so she should be. Oh my gosh, he literally kissed her and then left instantly, I think. I can't see him around here anywhere. 
and she can't invite him out anymore because it's so late. I think he literally kissed her and left. That's Jamie's treat, you guys. The minute it sounds like things might get a little bit more interesting, he leaves. So Lilith is gonna play us out now for this broken dream episode. I do wanna build them a new house, but while everything's offline, it's a little bit tough. So I can't do that just yet, but Abel has had his heart broken by Fatima because she's in a relationship with somebody. We don't know who, but we know that she is in a relationship with someone, but yet she keeps toying with them. And Abel is just sweet enough that he's gonna keep going along with it for now. And then little Lilith has felt a little bit sad that she wasn't getting the attention. So ran out on a date with Jamie Street and had a first kiss with him. <laughs> I hope you realized that was a mistake, little Lily Bear. I kind of think she's just confident. It's just so confident about herself that she probably doesn't doubt her decision. Uh-oh. Well, we do, Lilith, okay? Where are you gone? We do. We do. Oh, she's off to go and do her homework in a bar at 4 a.m. Good teenage in there, Lilith. Good parent in Max and Emma as well. Well done, Emma. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Broken Dream. Let me know what we should do about our little lovers and their little lovers quarrels. What should we do, especially about Abel and Fatima in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 Broken Dream. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Say I knew, I got by, I got by.